Welcome to Cooking with Shelster. My name is Bobby and I will be showing you how to cook a chicken and uh, it's going to be in the oven and we're going to go over some of the ingredients. Let's get started. First off, I have here some red potatoes. I also have two grainy green apples, one onion, and an orange. We have here some vinegar that these are soaking in for about 15 to 20 minutes. The reason these are soaking for about 15 to 20 minutes is to uh, pretty much get rid of any insecticides or pesticides that may have been sprayed on them to protect from uh, any pests. So first off, we're going to grab a cutting board. Anytime you're using a cutting board, you want to use a wood cutting board. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop these up. As I said before, all these have been uh, cooking, excuse me, all these have been soaking for about 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to strain these, give them a nice rub. And I'm just going to remove the water. And we're going to cut the potatoes. Now, when you cut it, make sure that you're putting your knuckles, removing your tips, bending them back, and placing them like this going to cut downwards and it helps always to have a sharp knife. So we're going to cut downwards one time and we got in halves and we're just going to cut that in another half. So we have four halves. We're going to do this to all the potatoes. Now, these potatoes are best used, but not limited to. You can use, uh, if you have regular potatoes, I just use these because I like to eat the holes. And I don't particularly like to eat the holes of uh, your regular Idaho or what have you uh, potatoes. So we cut all the potatoes up and place them back in the bowl. We're going to go ahead to the apples and cut those up as well. Now the reason you want to pretty much, the reason that I uh, always cut on cutting board that is wood when I'm using any type of vegetables is because it's easier to uh, to clean, and you don't get cross contamination with uh, with any meat. You want to use a plastic board. So let's just double check. We got those all cut up. Okay, potatoes. We move those out of the way. We're gonna be using those for later. Now, as the granny apples. You're going to go ahead and probably get your hand in there and make sure the vinegar and you're rubbing all the any type of pesticides that's left. Give it a nice rub. Those two ends are going to be removed as well. Uh, and I'll show you shortly. So you have an apple. You have these two sides that you're going to remove. Slice them downwards, and we're going to discard from the front side and the back side. This is optional. Now, basically, we're going to cut this down the middle so we have two sides. 
and we're just going to cut it down to remove the seeds. I'm going a little fast. Take your time if you're uh, if you're using cutting tool. Don't want to rush this method and make a mistake and slice your hand. Won't be a good feeling. Now for the orange, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove just barely each side on each uh, end of the orange. Then I'm gonna turn it over on a flat surface and just graze it all the way around. If you like, you can peel it. Uh, I just prefer this method. Don't worry about if you have uh, some left. That's okay. All right, you're gonna take this and you're gonna cut it all solid and fours. Okay. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get the onion. We're gonna do the same thing. Now with the onion I'm gonna grab a separate bowl just so that I can maintain uh, a level of separation so I don't get any type of contamination. So you're going to remove the outer, outer part, outer hole or what have you. And you want to make sure your hands stay out of the way and go down and cut and slice it. Don't necessarily have to dice while doing this for uh, this recipe. ingredients as far as non-meat items that we're going to be using. Next, we're going to talk about what type of things we're going to be using for uh, seasoning uh, our chicken. So stay tuned for part two.